what's going on youtube man happy friday we made it to the weekend so uh update i did have those quizzes i did have those exams uh both quizzes went well exam went well too obviously it's not graded yet because we took it today but hey hoping for the best i put my best foot forward and let's get into the video Ow. something a little bit different so I've been doing a whole bunch of Navy stuff haven't really been giving y'all an update on how school has been going for me so I'm gonna do a five a countdown on the things that I've learned in college so far now you'll think like you know you joining you know you came into college kind of late so you probably you probably know a lot but you can always learn something I always learn something I'm a student of the game every single day and um, I'm learning a lot while being in college just because it's something that I'm not used to, right? I haven't been in school for a while, so I'm learning something each and every day from these people that uh, that I encounter. So let's get into it. Obviously, number one, man, you gotta have that good time management. Um, time management is extremely important. I don't know how people get late for classes because I haven't been late and I don't know how long. I set like maybe four or five alarms and they're in between 30 minutes, so I make sure that it's not only a timer to tell me that I need to get to where I need to go next, but it also tells me that, hey, you're 30 minutes early if you leave right now. But I will say one of the biggest things that um, I see people struggling with, but something that I currently struggle with is um, managing your time for stuff that you're not good at so when you're not good at something you want to improve at it really really quick it's hard to manage that time to improve and managing that time to get the other work done what i have to do is look i gotta make i gotta make a schedule that um i get all of my stuff done on the like the easy stuff the stuff that doesn't require much studying i get that stuff done on the weekends that way I can study my math during the week. Now, during the week, it might not seem like a lot of time, but you got a lot of gaps in your day, especially if you're a full-time student. So you could use those gaps in your day to study for the things that you're not good at. That way you can strengthen, strengthen them up. Also, I, I go to tutoring. So I go to tutoring, I plan my day out to where I'm down at the uh, tutoring center, getting the help I need. That way I can get a little bit better. Now, I don't know about your campus, but I know about my campus. I wouldn't eat on campus unless it's convenient or it's fried chicken Wednesday. Like. Fried Chicken Wednesday, they got the fried chicken. People come dressed to impress. I like seeing people getting dressed up and enjoying themselves. And uh, the, the fried chicken be pretty good. Usually got yams, collard greens, and a good dessert. Now, the reason why I say I wouldn't eat there unless it's convenient or Fried Chicken Wednesday is because it costs the same the same amount to eat on campus as it does to go get like some like a 15 piece chicken wing set. Like I like wings, so like I'll go get wings and get like the 15 piece, it'd be like $10, but to eat on campus for lunch, it'd be like $7. It's the same difference. Or if you go to one of the restaurants, you're paying $9 or you're paying $8 and you might as well go get something that you like from a place that you like. That's just how I look at it. Number three, the third thing that college has been teaching me is how to critical think. Um, a lot of people don't really get that. Like critical thinking is a skill that's built upon. Like when you start critically thinking a lot, it doesn't seem like it's a skill, but man, a lot of people around in these regular jobs, they don't, they don't critical think. They do what they have to do each and every day and it becomes a pattern. But when you gotta critically think and actually um, make a difference in somebody, like in somebody's situation, like IT for an example, information technologists, they information information technology. Um, when they going through something, they have to troubleshoot something. It's not a straightforward line, right? They get paid to critically critically think. Number four, man, college has also taught me you got to let people live in the time that they are in their life. Like, I don't ever get mad at my study partners if they want to go to a party or something like that because it don't make sense. When, you, when you're 19 through like 23, 24, go party. That's, that's what your early 20s is for. So I learned to let people do what they do. But if they need help or something, like if they caught a flat tire, of course, I'm going to still help them. But, you know. Let them, let them do what they do at that age. And number five is gonna be, man, we gonna ask for help when we need the help, man. That's something that you have to constantly learn because sometimes you think you're bothering somebody or sometimes you think you got it. Whatever the case may be, just ask for the help, man, because it's making you stronger. That way you can succeed. But happy Friday, man. Be safe this weekend. And of course, I'm gonna drop another video tomorrow. See you guys later. Peace.